Ladies and gentlemen, TJ Productions proudly presents our interview with master illusionist, Mr. Michael Boyd. Look at you, Mr. Magic. your name was on the list to be on this show this week I did a little clapping dance a bit like that <laughs> because I completely loved you the last time however I could not imagine how you could ramp it up You are a stunning magician, and I'm so glad that you're on the show. Well done. Thank you very much. Oh, I, I don't know how you did that. You left me speechless, and that's an amazing thing. Well done, brother. Well done. Well done. Michael, you should be incredibly proud of yourself. You're very good at what you do. That was yeah, yeah very, very impressive. Hey folks and welcome to TJ Productions and today we have the absolute pleasure of interviewing Master Illusionist Mr. Michael Boyd. Welcome to our show Michael. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure to be here. Fabulous. Tell us about yourself Michael. Uh, I'm uh, firstly, I'm a third generation magician. Both my grandfather and his grandfather were magicians so yes. I carried on the family tradition and I've been doing magic ever since I can remember. I started with the little coin tricks and progress to the large illusions and now travel the globe performing magic and illusions but then um, 15 years ago I made the progression from just performer to starting to self-produce shows mm -hmm. for casinos and uh, theatres around Australia and also in Asia and, uh, and in New Zealand. It's done very very well so now I'm the illusionist producer handling both roles and loving it. That's absolutely fabulous. Can you tell us a bit uh, about how you come up with your illusions uh, and what's the most difficult thing that you, 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 you could say that, uh, you know, about the roles that you come up with? Okay, so with the illusions, I always say the simplest things, the tricks that look very, very simple, are generally the ones that are rather complicated and complex. The way that we come up with them is I have a team of people that work on creating the illusions. Generally, it starts with a diagram or a drawing I send it over to uh, some friends of mine in Vegas who build the illusions mm -hmm. for the likes of David Copperfield oh, and wow. uh, formerly Siegfried and Roy. Mm -hmm. So they specialize in, in building those magic props. And then they conceptualize and come up with a physical illusion. From there, the illusion gets shipped to Australia and that could be a six month process from the wow. time of, of, of getting all those bits and pieces together and rehearsals begin. The music, the costumes, the lighting, and that's the really exciting part that I love because you're building 
then the, the you know the illusion and the routine together and learning these illusions can be quite difficult they're very physical um, there's a lot of timing split-second timing between myself and my assistants and if something goes wrong catastrophe can happen they're very also very very dangerous I was going to ask you that in the next question but you've covered it right there Yep, that's absolutely fabulous. Um, can you describe your uh, your personal, your most favourite personal performance so far? My favourite personal performance is so hard because they do vary, mm -hmm. and sometimes again the most unusual, unique, smaller performances are are something that you know gives something to you. Often they're for a friend or a family member because it's personal. Yeah. But I have performed on rather large um, stages and been very fortunate yeah. enough to travel. I wouldn't say I have one favourite but I've done all the cruise ships and travelled around there with cruise ships. I've also worked in the largest casino showrooms around Australia and um, a few years ago, about three years ago, I was the lead performer in a multi-million dollar show in Hong Kong. Um, it was a massive illusion show called Cyber Illusion Spectacular mm -hmm. for the Ocean Park, um, Ocean Park theme park. It was a, a resort there. And it was one of the biggest shows I've ever done with large scale props, incredible LED lighting and brilliant choreography. So that probably was one of my favourites. Fabulous. Well, I must tell the listeners and encourage them to purchase tickets. Uh, the first lot of tickets is already sold out. You need to really book folks for that second uh, that second performance the second right here. Vegas, the... yeah, and I must say the Vegas performance isn't just magic. We have the best tribute artists in the show. We have Sher, we have Elvis, we have Tom Jones, we even have Carmen Miranda. So there really is something for everyone. On top of this, we have the showgirls and the showboys. It's a really fun, spectacular show and something for everybody. Fabulous. Uh, uh, on any of your other things. Uh, uh, is there any uh, uh, illusion that you haven't performed as yet that you'd like to still perform? There's always something that I'm looking and working towards. I'm very top secret about the things that are in the vault. Of course. But um, stay tuned. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of uh, new illusions in the pipeworks mm -hmm. and they will come to fruition very soon. Fabulous. Fabulous. Excellent. Um, have you won any uh, uh, awards? Uh, I have won, I won awards, both um, accolades with the magic, particularly yes. when I was younger and I started performing. I won the champion magician, and junior champion magician, and actually a comedy magician award as well when I once upon a time did comedy magic. So, um, uh, yeah, and then recently I went on the TV show, uh, it is Australia's Got Talent, Wonderful. and was a semi-finalist on that, and that was probably the scariest thing I've done in my life, because mm. you really put yourself on the line when you're working towards these judges who could buzz you off at any second. Yeah. Wow, excellent. Well, that's uh, certainly... Uh a run-up of things here. Um, uh, what advice would you give somebody, um, you know, to an aspiring uh, uh, a young person, you know, wanting to learn uh, uh, illusionism and... And magic? That's correct. Very easy. Go to the local library and look up a magic book. It's what I did. Mm -hmm. And you'll find some simple tricks that you can do with coins and cards and everyday objects. Then from there, you know, go on YouTube. There's tutorials that can teach you some fantastic magic tricks yeah. uh, that, that you can learn and then the number one thing is perform as much as you can. Yeah. Do shows for your families, for your friends, for your nana at the old people's home. Yeah. Performing, you, there's nothing like experience in performing and the more you do that the more confidence you build yeah. and the, the audience rapport you build as well. So magic is about learning the technique first then about learning showmanship and the only way you learn showmanship is to be in front of an audience and Absolutely. learning what works and what doesn't work. Fabulous. Um, I'd like to uh, congratulate you and thank you for coming on for to be interviewed My today. My absolute pleasure. And folks, you really, really need to come in and see Michael. This is really something not to be missed. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time today, My Michael. My pleasure. Thank you.